one of the things that we switched from is you know using the Splenda or sucralose flavored uh, water enhancers and have gone to using um, you know uh, stevia and erythritol based enhancers so this is one just from uh, Walmart you can see here it has water erythritol and stevia extract um, this is one from a, another local grocery store that is pretty much the same thing erythritol and stevia um, and here is a name brand one um, you can get locally here in North Carolina called Pure Via um, it is the same thing erythritol and stevia and what I do is I purchase packets of Kool-Aid, right? So here's Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. Um, and I've tried quite a few flavors. This is Pink Lemonade. Um, so what I do is I get a, a little funnel, right? This is the size funnel that I use. It's really small. Um, and I use this, and I'm just gonna pick this one here. And I peel off the label. Right, super easy and if you turn this ever so slightly to the side you can see here that it's catty corner at that point you can push your thumb up underneath this edge and it will pop off just like that sometimes it's a little bit of a pain there we go right so now I have an open container Right, so you take four packets, and this is uh, four packets of unsweetened Kool-Aid. Um, you can also use uh, your name brand or your grocery store brand flavoring. It doesn't matter. You just want to make sure that there's no additional um, sugar in it. Right, shake it all down to the bottom, and you may find that you know you like it better with only three packets, or only like it with two packets. Right, this is where you get to decide how sweet or how tart you want it. So I'm just gonna just gonna cut the tops off, and you want to be a little bit careful with these because uh, you know I don't, if you've ever made Kool-Aid before, this stuff can be crazy, and you know go everywhere, and you've got red dust in your nose and red dust on the countertop and all that. So you can see I'm just pouring it in, super easy. Right, and you can see here how much is left. I, I am not going to try real hard to get that down in there simply because the more I shake it, the more mess it makes. All right, so once that's in there, I am just gonna pop the top back on. All right, shake it up. Done deal. You can take a Sharpie and just write on it whatever your uh, flavor is. This is what I use. I make I make probably one or two of these a week. Um, uh, maybe not every week, every other week. And this is what we use as our flavor enhancer. So I hope that's been helpful for you. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, I can't wait to hear them. Good luck and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.